What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this lesson, let's continue our Revit 2022 for architecture. So in this lesson, we are going to slope the roof slab of the building to allow for roof drainage condition. Okay, so we are going to edit the slab construction to more accurately reflect the construction of the roof and the way the slope will be accommodated in the insulation of the roof okay so to start I'm going to select the roof and then from the modify roofs I'm going to select your add split line so it adds linear edges for reshaping the selected roof or floor geometry so lines can divide the geometry into subregions that can be independently manipulated so I'm going to select add split line and then I'm going to snap here that point and then across to this uh, point here. Okay, then after that, I'm going to add a point here. So it adds reshaping points to select the roof and floor geometry. So the points are used by the shape modification tools to change the geometry. All right. So I'm going to select this one and this the exact location of the point is not critical to this exercise. So maybe I'm just going to pick somewhere here. There you go. Right. And then after that, I'm going to select here, modify. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to select again the roof. Oops. The roof. And then um, we are going to uh, modify the sub elements again. So I'm going to select this line here. I'm going to select this rectangle here. These lines, this line, this line here, this edge here, and then this edge here. So for me to be able to do that, I'm going to hover my pointer until it highlights. Okay, you see it highlights there when I hover my pointer over the line. Okay, so hover the pointer. Once it highlights, you press tab once. And then you click. Okay, so for you to be able to select these four edges. Okay, then after that, we are going to change the elevation. So change the elevation. So let's say I want that uh, six inches. And then enter. There you go. Right? And then after that, just select your modify to deselect the object. There you go. So we just edited now our roof slab. So as you can see, the roof slab here displays the edges representing the sloping faces leading down to the roof drain. Okay. So for your exercise, you can use the same method to edit the remainder of the roof to accommodate the drainage condition. All right. But for now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a section. So let's go to the project browser. I'm going to open the roof level and then I'm going to create a section here. So from the quick access toolbar, I'm going to select section and then between the grid lines 4 and 5, I'm going to pick the first point at the top to the bottom here. Click. All right, and then after that, you can actually adjust the section by clicking that shape handle uh, arrow. And then after that, select your modify. Then for us to be able to open the section, just double, uh, just double click the uh, section bubble head. Double click that to open the section. And there you go. Okay, so what we are going to do here is let us try to edit our uh, roof. Okay. By the way, we can change our detail level here instead of cores. I want to see the fine details of my roof by selecting fine here. Okay, so as you can see, it's really generic. So the type here is generic 12 inches. We are going to create a new type of roof. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select this roof from the properties. I'm going to select here, edit type. Okay, oh, not edit type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this type here. So I click the drop down arrow and then look for 
uh, steel trash insulation on, on metal deck EPDM. So you click that one. And then right off the bat, you can see now here the detail of that roof. But this is not what I want. Okay. So I'm going to select this one to create a new type of roof. Select edit type here. And then after that, from the type properties, we are going to duplicate this roof before we edit it to avoid uh, modifying this roof. So I'm going to duplicate and then specify here the name. So let's say, for example, uh, this will going to be my concrete deck uh, tapered insulation. Okay, so that's the type that I want. So that's the name. And then after that, I'm now going to edit the structure. So I'm going to select Edit Structure. And I don't need this layer here. So I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to select Delete. There you go. So as you can see, it's now deleted here, that particular layer. Okay, so I'm going to uh, click the structure here. So I'm going to change the material. So since this is a concrete deck, so I'm going to select here the ellipsis button for more options. It will open up the material browser. And then let's look for concrete precast. This one. So concrete, precast, concrete. So just select that one and then OK. So there you go. So it's now changed. Now the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to uh, specify here the layer 2 so our thermal air layer function here I'm gonna specify here as variable okay so if you're going to select variable so what happens is selecting the variable option for our thermal uh, insulation oops sorry for our insulation thermal air layer specify that the insulation and all layers above the insulation is sloped so while the other layers of the roof remained horizontal okay so that is what will happen so selecting this option for our uh, uh, layer 2 for our thermal air layer specify that the insulation and all layers above the insulation is sloped while the other layers or the remaining layers of the roof remained horizontal. So if you want to change, by the way, the material, you can just click that ellipsis button, then just change. Okay. But anyway, so that's now our uh, uh, settings. Okay. So let me just look for, so that's our thermal Where's my thermal air? Let's check out other options here. Mm, okay, so I'll just use the default settings. Okay, so I just made it variable and then I select here OK. And then let's select here OK. And see, see what happens. So this portion here, it's now sloping while the remaining are uh, horizontal so if we are going back again to that uh, option so let me just quickly show you so edit type edit and then I'm going to make this uncheck so check out what will happen so I select your OK and then I will select your apply so see what will happen see so it's all slope right but that is not what I want so I'm gonna make this variable okay and then apply there you go right okay so that's now our roof so let me just click here tile views so there's our area there so by the way for the section you can click the section and then you can click that icon there to create a gap so that uh, just to tidy up your section, it's not overlapping any elements. Okay, just like that. And let me just zoom in here. There you go. Okay, 
So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.